Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of our most powerful features, communities. With System.io, you can create your own private or public community, which is perfect for building a loyal following, offering premium group coaching, or creating an exclusive hub for your customers to connect. First, let's build the community itself. From your main dashboard, navigate to the Assets tab and then click on Communities. My list here is empty, so let's get started by clicking Create. A pop-up will appear where you'll need to provide a name for your community, assign a domain name to it, and customize the URL path. You also have a key choice for automatic post approval. If you enable this, all member posts will be published instantly. If you disable it, you or a moderator will need to approve posts before they become visible, giving you more control over the content. Let's disable it for now. After filling these details out, click Save. Click the name to access the community. We land on the Home tab. This is the main feed where you can see all the posts of your community. Below is the search bar. As your community grows, it becomes a valuable knowledge base. Members can easily find information using the search bar at the top. The search feature is powerful. It looks for keywords in both post content and in the comments, making it simple for users to find the exact conversations and answers they're looking for. Next, we have the Members tab. You can see a complete list of everyone who has joined your community. To add new people, click Invite New Members and enter their email address. Then there's the settings tab. You can modify your community's details like its name, URL path, and cover image. Most importantly, this is where you can set your community type. A public community allows anyone with the link to sign up and join. A private community is invitation only, which is the perfect setting for exclusive, paid membership groups or coaching programs. You can also change the automatic post approval option here. After that, we have the Pending Posts tab. This is because we have disabled automatic post approval. Here you'll see Members Posts, where you can decide to either approve them to be published or decline them. Below, we see the Scheduled Posts tab. This will display all of your scheduled posts, and you can easily reschedule them for a different time or choose to post now if your plans change. On the bottom left, you can create topics to organize your posts into different categories. A thriving community depends on great content and easy navigation. To keep discussions organized, you should create several topics for your members to post in. Let's create one quickly and name it General. Now, let's go back to the Home tab and create our first post. I'll add the title Welcome. At the bottom here, we can add an image or a video, attach a video link, or add an audio file. You can also choose Post It Immediately or schedule it for a future date and time to plan your content in advance and you'll be able to see it in the Scheduled Posts tab. Let's post it now. To make sure important information doesn't get lost in the feed, you can pin content. You can pin any post to the top of the main home feed or to the top of its topic, ensuring your most important announcements are always the first thing members see. Similarly, if a member leaves a particularly insightful comment, you can pin that comment to the top of the post comment section to highlight it for everyone. Now that your community is set up, let's monetize it. You can sell access to your community the same way we saw before with other digital products like courses. Start on the order form page where you want to sell access. First, scroll down and add a new digital product. Next, in the resources section, click the plus icon to add one and select communities. Then choose a specific community you want to grant access to. The final and most important step is adding a price plan. Click the plus icon to create a price for this offer. A monthly subscription goes well with a paid community. Once that's done, save your changes. Now, when a customer purchases through this order form, they will automatically be granted access to your community. This process is fully automated. If a customer cancels their subscription or gets a refund, their access will be automatically revoked. And that's the complete process. As you can see, you have all the tools you need to create, manage, and sell a thriving community right here within System.io. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.